Let's talk about one leader, one great ulama, Abdullah ibn Abbas My brothers and sisters, Abdullah ibn Abbas started his lesson when he was very young, around elementary school age, less than 12 years old. He started to learn from the Prophet that young. One day the Prophet brought him on a ride, of course, on an old-fashioned vehicle, a camel. There he sat behind the Prophet. The Prophet then gave that boy some advice. That advice was so remarkable, it should fit a future leader. And this boy was indeed being prepared to be a leader. And he did become one of the great leaders of this Ummah. The Prophet said, Ya Ghulam, Ihfadillah yahfadka. Be mindful of Allah, and Allah will protect you. The Prophet continued, Ihfadillah tajidu tujahad. Be mindful of Allah, and you will find Him in front of you. وَإِذَا سَأَلْتَ فَاسْأَلْ لِلَّهِ وَإِذَا إِسْتَعَنْتَ فَاسْتَعِنْ بِاللَّهِ If you ask, then ask Allah alone. And if you seek help, then seek help from Allah alone. وَعَلَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْفَعُكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَا يَنْفَعُ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَكْ And know that if all ummas were to gather together to help you, to benefit you with anything, they would not benefit you except with Allah's decree. What an advice. And it was given to a young boy. Have any of your parents gave similar advice to a young boy? Have you? So this, because the Prophet was preparing a future leader, that was the aim. And this was only a young boy. So to prepare a leader, you need this kind of advice. وَعَلَمْ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَذُرُّكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَا يَذُرُّكَ بِشَيْءٍ إِلَّا قَدْ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ رُفِعَتِ الْأَقْلَامِ وَجَفَّتِ الصُّحْفِ The Prophet said if they were to gather together to harm you with anything, they would not harm you, son. Except with Allah's decree. That was so profound, wasn't it? And therefore Islamic leaders, they should not be afraid of anything. Those who are cowering from any challenges, they have not learned this aqidah. Unlike this boy, this was being prepared to be a leader. And once he learned this, nothing would distress him. All of you can do anything against me. But if Allah has not decreed, you cannot harm me. Those bullets may rain down on me. But if my name is not written on one of them, I will not die. That's just an example of how aqidah should strengthen people. And for this, you will need a proper preparation.